Hello everyone, this is Armin Suri, and today I'm going to show you the Guelph G-Test route. This video was requested by NB and a lot of other people. So here it is uh, for everyone who had requested this video. So this is the drive test center. You know, um, do not think that this is where you would have to park the car because this is obviously the front of the drive test center. You know, this is uh the the entrance to the drive test center but you don't have to park your car here for the test they want you to go around you know so you have to go be around this and park your car and park your car here so this is where it was right so this is the entrance and you go around here and uh go behind the building right so there are two ways to go around this you can go either this way there's a mcdonald's here so you go here this way and uh you know it's it's right in the middle uh of this plaza right so and this is where you would have to park and you see how these cars are parked they're all parked strategically <laughs> so all these cars are parked strategically you know strategically because you know that's the way it should be right so when you start the test you want to drive out forward right you don't want to park the car in reverse uh, because you're already nervous and you don't want to make a mistake while you're reversing so make sure you park facing forward just like these cars are parked right and uh, there are numbers on these spots here do not park your car here right this is where you park after you're done with the test they will just ask you to forward park here okay or maybe reverse park in uh, one of these spots okay so this is where you park so another thing i wanted to show you was that this is the tunnel you go through you know you can't really see through it but you know when after you register you come back through this through this uh, little tunnel and you wait here for for the examiner actually you wait in the car and if you're accompanying someone then you wait here uh, you know so when you start the test you can either go out this way to the right or you go out to the left for for g2 test they mostly take you to the right hand side and for g test it will be to the left but hey be prepared for anything eventually you're gonna come out on the same road uh, whether you go through here or the other way but uh you know uh the, you, you're arguing to, but the beginning is either left or right so for for this video i'm going to go out this way to the left when you're driving in this plaza right so you want to keep a speed of 30 kilometers per hour you're going to see some speed bumps here so here there is a speed bump here so watch out for that and uh, you know as long as you're driving at 30 it should not be a problem you, you can't miss that speed bump and uh, here you're gonna make a right turn at this street, which is called Arrow Road. So for this street, you would creep up a little bit, look on your left, there could be cars coming. There's no stop sign there, right? So you'd have to stop still and uh, look on your left and right and then make a safe right turn. Now keep, keep a speed of 40 here because you know, you're soon gonna hit a stop sign. So it will be a two way stop sign that you hit. So this is the stop sign for for Woodlawn Road West. You're gonna make a right turn just like this guy. This guy is making. He's he's probably doing a test. You can see the see the driving school sign on top of that. So a lot of people come here for drive tests. You know. So you would creep up to for, first. You would stop here behind the sidewalk and then you would creep up when it's safe and then march in front of the, in front of the cars in a safe way right so you want to make sure that you don't slow the cars down when you turn right in front of them so when you turn right you can't miss the speed sign it says 60 kilometers per hour but if there's construction then go by the construction speed sign um, it would normally be in orange right if you don't see a speed sign then drive slower at the speed of the traffic okay uh so you're gonna have to drive for a bit on this road now they could ask you to switch lanes here this is a busy intersection busy busy place so be very careful for the most part they will ask you to drive in the right lane uh you know maybe they will ask you to sw for the most part they will ask you to drive in the right lane but be prepared for switching lanes right and if you haven't watched my lane switching videos then make sure you watch this and um, I've shared some good tips for how to change lanes so I'm sure you're gonna find it 
helpful. Hey, if you're new to this channel, then make sure you check out other videos in the video section of this channel. And also check out the playlists for different types of videos. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, then make sure you hit that subscribe button. Now at this place where you start seeing the signs, the sales sign and everything, know that you're, you're approaching a left turn here. So, hey, as you can see, these lines are dotted. The yellow, there's a dotted yellow line and uh, then a solid yellow line. There, it's a separate lane for people who want to turn left or right. So, so this is where you're gonna be turning left at uh, this street. So they will ask you to get into the left turn lane uh, from here, right? So you go, go in between these yellow lines and then you await your turn. Hey, you know what? <laughs> I did all my driving tests at Guelph and this is where, you know, the, the driving instructor, sorry, the examiner really made me nervous. So I, I waited here too long to make the left turn. I was new to Canada at that time and I was nervous about, uh, you know, driving on Canadian roads and I straight away went for a G test and, uh, you know, I took my own sweet time to make that left turn and uh, the examiner, after I made the left turn, he said, why did you take so long to make the left turn? And that made me nervous. He did not fail me because of that, but then I failed because I did not make a full stop later at a stop sign and, uh, you know, he failed me. So. I, I think this thing triggered it and he 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 thought to himself that this guy is probably not confident and um, I, I'm just gonna wait for him to make a mistake so he caught me there right so he caught me when I did not make a full stop at a stop sign so know that you know making a full stop is very important it's an auto fail on the test I will be making a video on um, on uh, auto fails on the on the road test but you know you have to be very careful so watch out for for that video so here's where you make the left turn so you wait here and uh, make a safe left turn when there's no car and you turn onto the street just like this guy is turning so you turn onto the street it's a one lane road and um, this uh, since this doesn't have a speed speed sign so you're gonna drive at 50 kilometers per hour on this road and this road is called Royal Road now after the turn this is where the examiner asked me to do uh, an emergency stop or a roadside stop right a roadside stop and emergency stop are the same thing a lot of people ask me what's the difference so it is the same thing if you haven't watched my emergency stop video make sure you watch it I'm gonna put a link here uh, and it's very straightforward okay so you make the stop and uh, and you drive out this way now this x sign coming up here tells you that there's a railway crossing you don't have to worry about it you know you a lot of people think that they have to make a stop at a railway crossing no it is not us who have to make a stop it is usually buses that have to come to a full stop whether it's an old railway track or a new track they have to make a stop um, because they are carrying a lot of passengers and they don't want to risk the lives of those people and it's a long vehicle that is why you know buses are required to make stops but you don't have to make a full stop you can just go straight through but hey, when you're around here, they want you to look look left and look right when you go through the railway track, right? So even though there are no trains coming from here, you still have to make that check, make a look on your left and right. So it's an important part of uh, the G test. And there are actually two tracks on this road. So you're going to come across another one. So you do the same thing. You look on the left and on your right as you go through that uh, railway track. So here it is. This is a sign that will tell you that you're approaching a railway track. So there you can see the crosses. So, you know, that's the second railway track that I was talking about. So look on the left and right and then go straight through. So this is the intersection where you will be making a left turn onto Speedvale Avenue West. But, uh, you know, this is a one lane road, but you want to stay closer to the left hand side so that you can leave room for people who want to turn right. So uh, you make a left turn here. So the good part is that, you know, when you make a left turn, you don't have to worry about oncoming traffic. You just have to watch out for pedestrians, right? So there could be pedestrians trying to cross the road, let them cross and, uh, you know, then then make a safe left turn. So after you make the left turn, you're going to see the sign that says 60 kilometers per hour. So you can't miss that sign. And uh, let me tell you one thing, you know, 
it will be slightly difficult for you to get up to 60 because you know by the time you get up to 50 you will hit the intersection where you'll have to make a right turn but if you're able to get up to 60 then uh then try it and after you make the left turn make sure you go to the right lane uh, when it is safe the examiner is not going to tell you to switch to right lane uh, you have to automatically do it and you have to do it for every left turn where there are uh, multiple lanes so you don't want to keep driving in the fast lane or in the passing lane so you have to move over to the right hand side so here at this intersection you're going to make a right turn and you go on to highway six now i wanted to show you the aerial view of uh, the highway hey one thing you want to know is that the good part is that you don't have to worry about the oncoming traffic here so here you know there is a yield sign for pedestrians yeah you, ha you have to yield to them and then you, you can keep going you don't have to worry about the oncoming traffic from this side you see the 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 lane for oncoming traffic is this one which is not interfering with uh, people making a right turn here so you you turn right here and this is the acceleration lane and it's a long lane you see from here to all the way here from here to here so this is how long the lane is and the speed limit on this road is 70 kilometers per hour a lot of people they make a mistake of turning and and they switch from here at this point you know this is too early by you know when you're here you're at maybe 40 or 50 and that's not a good speed to switch lanes they want you to use the acceleration lane to get up to at least 60 before you march so try to get up to 60 or 65 and then march so use this lane i would recommend you switch around here before the lane ends so you switch to the to the left and then you keep driving straight on this road so on this highway they are going to ask you to switch lanes they want to see how you switch lanes on the on the highway so you know be prepared to switch to the left and once again back to the right because then they're going to ask you to turn right so you get into the right lane from here and you turn right onto willow road so this is the lane you get into and you turn right onto Willow Road West from here. Here there's a yield sign so you have to watch out for traffic and let me show you this. This is a very short acceleration lane so you'll have to indicate from here and uh, and switch when it is safe but if you see a car coming then it doesn't hurt to stop and yield to the car and then switch when it's safe. And after you switch you're gonna have to make the first right here which is onto mark sam road so you make a right turn here and there's no speed sign posted here so you'll drive at uh, 50 kilometers per hour and you see there's a school zone sign here and uh, when you when you hit the sign you drive at 40 kilometers per hour when you see the actual school zone sign so for mark sam uh, you're going to keep driving this way this is mark sam and you keep going keep going keep going and then you're gonna pop out back on Speedvale Road now I can't forget this stop sign this is the stop sign where I failed I did not make a full stop I I did a rolling stop I looked on the left and made the right turn so you don't want to make that mistake okay so here you creep up a little bit you look on the left and right and then you make a right turn onto speed wheel and you're gonna go back to the highway okay so the speed limit on speed wheel was 60 kilometers per hour uh, but again you're not going to be able to get up to 60 so keep slow until you hit the highway again so there's two times that you're going going to go on the highway so you go back again so back again on highway six do the same thing you know uh, you want to try to get up to 70 kilometers per hour before you switch lanes if not 70 60 or 65 is still okay right and then you try to get up to 60 oh uh, sorry 70. now after you switch to the left lane they're again going to ask you to switch lanes here maybe once to the right and then back to the left lane because at the lights coming up you're going to have to make a left turn onto willow road so so you stay in this lane to make a left turn 
Now, now let me tell you something about these lights. These are a little confusing lights. So what happens is, so this one is for going straight and you get, you only see an arrow, right? To make a left turn. Um, sometimes what happens is some students, they will see an advanced green and they will start creeping up into the intersection. But no, that you can only creep up or actually make the turn when you see an advanced green signal here. So wait for the left turn arrow here before you make the left turn. This, this is for people who want to go straight. So you make a left turn here. So after the left turn, you want to get back into the right turn lane and uh, they will most likely keep you uh, in this lane because you want to make a right turn. So here at these lights, you're going to make a right turn onto Silver Creek Parkway North. So you make a right turn here. The speed sign here says 50 kilometers per hour. Uh, hey, watch this. There's a slope coming up here and this is a tricky part. So a lot of people go faster on the slope. So you have to watch out for the speed. Okay uh so uh, keep keep uh, a light foot on the brake pedal so that you can maintain the speed while you're going down the slope so after the slope you're going to make a left turn onto ajax street you see this driving school car they are probably doing a test so you turn left here watch out for these cars you know s stay a little away from these cars a lot of people think that they have to stay in the right lane but hey safety first you have to leave some room some people have even failed for driving too close to the car so you don't want to make that mistake so you keep driving straight keep a little slow i would say 30 or 40 if there are cars around then drive at 30 otherwise keep it at 40 here and then you're going to make a left turn here now this is a weird intersection it has a yield sign it doesn't have a stop sign so you have to you know you don't have to stop completely but i would slow down a little bit and uh, look on the left and right and then make a safe left turn onto sleeman avenue so i go sleeman avenue here now here they could ask me to do a three-point turn so i'll pull up on the right do a three-point turn and go back now if you haven't watched my three-point turn video make sure you click on this link and uh, watch how a three-point turn is done and then you come back and make a right turn again on ajax street one thing i forgot to tell you earlier was that you know because of these cars parked here on this side they will ask you to do parallel parking this is a quiet street so it is a good place to to do parallel parking so they will ask you to do parallel parking and an uh, emergency stop emergency stop could be anywhere on this street or on the street i showed you earlier where they asked me to do an emergency stop so you go out this way and you make a right turn onto silver creek parkway north once again at the stop sign so you'll creep up a little bit look on the left and your right and you make a safe right turn here Again, going up the slope, your speed might slow down, so you want to accelerate this time, right? When you were coming down, you had to brake a little bit. Now, since you're going up the hill, you would have to accelerate a little bit. The speed limit on this road is 50 kilometers per hour. These lights, you will make a right turn onto Willow Road. Now, after you make the right turn, you will see this sign, which says the lane is ending in 70 meters. So be prepared to switch lanes to the left. Now on Willow Road again, you're going to come across a slope. So do the same thing. Have your foot on the brake to maintain the speed. Now here you're going to see this speed sign that says 40 when flashing. When the lights are flashing, you have to drive at 40. Otherwise, you can keep it at 50. That is what it means. And if you're doing during school hours, you will see this light flashing. So keep driving on this one lane road. Know that you have to share the lane with bikers. So there could be bikers here if you're doing the test in summer. And at the lights coming up, you'll have to get into the left turn lane to make a left turn onto Dawson Road. Now know that it's a one lane road and you have to share the road with bikers. So you have to yield to the, to the, to the cars going right before you make the left turn on a green light. So here on this road, you keep driving straight at 50 kilometers per hour and it will be a while before you make make the turn next turn so you are going to 
come across two railway tracks because this road runs parallel to the road that I had shown you earlier, which had uh, two railway tracks. So those those two railway tracks uh, run across this road. So, so you have to do the same thing when you come across railway crossings, look on the left and look on the right and then go straight. Now, you may be wondering why there's no gate here for safety. Just know that, you know, the, there are uh, cargo trains here and they go really slow, you know. They would come really slow at a snail's pace and then they would stop here, actually yield to you before uh, they, they cross this road. So you don't have to worry about anything, but just for safety, it's good to look on the left and right and go. There won't be any cars uh there won't be any trains coming at a fast pace. So after the two railway crossings, you keep going straight until you hit the lights, which are for Dawson Road and Woodlawn Road West. And you make a left turn here. So this is where you make the left turn from. And know that there are two lanes here, though this is faded. So you make a left turn here and you go around the yellow line. Now, there used to be two lanes here. I can't see the white dotted line here. Treat it like a two lane road and stay on the left hand side. And later on, here you see the faded lines. So from here, you're going to have to switch back to the right lane, which is what you do in any situation, you know, when, when you turn left. The speed limit here is 60, but you won't be able to get up to 60. You will be asked to turn right way before that. So the first street here coming up, so you go into the right lane and you make a right turn just like this white van is making. You see the driving school car here and then you would make a left turn into this plaza. Um, it would not be from the first first entrance. This is where the McDonald's is, is behind the trees. You're going to go enter from the second entrance to the plaza and you go in this way and you're going to come across a speed bump here and uh, you know go slow here keep it at 30. you know this is where you enter from and my examiner asked me to reverse park here because uh, they thought that it would be busy there uh, so they asked me to park here and then I came back this way and just forward park just pulled in into into one of these spots that's it so that's the end of uh, the guelph gtest route i hope you found value in this video i and if you did like the video then make sure you give me a thumbs up and if there's anything that you would like to recommend in terms of you know speed limit changes or route changes then please mention in the comment bo box and i will try to make a second version of this video thank you very much for watching this video and i'll see you again with another video